What's good, beautiful people? It's a girl Chantal here, back again with another new video. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for tuning back in. So in today's video, I'm just going to be taking out my bungee knots. And these are the curls. They came out pretty good. I'm happy. I'm not complaining. This was like literally a day after I undid my bungee knots and the curls are still intact. And if you ask me, I would say it was because of the gel because I've never used gel for my bungee knots before and they never used to like last for this long. I have taken a nap with my bungee knots without any protection whatsoever and he's still good, honestly. I shouldn't be destroying these curls, but I want to have a different hairstyle again. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to join the family and I'll see you in my next update. So when I'm taking down my bungee knots, I don't have any product on my fingers. And this is to just, you know, not ruin the curls. Also, when you're taking down the bungee knots, you want to make sure that you are untwirling or untwisting in the, like, suitable direction. Because you don't want it to go in the wrong direction and then your curls are ruined. Like, I used to struggle a lot with that um, when I was starting with bungee knots. Also, I found my hair tagging on the elastic bands that I used. I won't lie, the process of using elastic bands was just too long for me. I don't think I might use it in the future. But when you're when you're a beginner with bantu knots, I feel like it does really help you because it does help you to shape out your hair, you know, and make the perfect sections as well. So I don't know, you might want to consider that. After fluffing out my curls, I'm just going to take this pick. Honestly, you can buy a afro comb with picks at the end. But when I was looking for a pick comb, I couldn't find that. So this is what I'm using. So I'm just going to pick up my curls and I'm not combing through. I'm just picking up the roots. When you comb through, you're going to ruin your curls, okay? Like, it has happened to me. It is so frustrating. And you don't want that hard work to just go down the drain. So just pick out your curls. Detangle if you have to, you know. Make it look nice. Fluff it out. Volumize everything. And also, if you do notice, I didn't take out the two side partings. Just because I didn't feel like it, okay? I just I was really feeling the style and that was the, the theme for the day, the look for the day, but yeah. After I took down my bantu knots, I literally did not use any products whatsoever until the next day when I decided to experiment. Honestly, I didn't really care if the style was ruined or anything because I just wanted to see what would happen if I would spray water on my hair. So what I did, I sprayed water with some leave-in conditioner and to be quite honest, I've never seen my hair like this before. My hair literally takes time in order for it to get like kinks and coils from just water and conditioner. And despite the fact that it was dirty hair, I hadn't washed it for like a week and a half. My hair is still not washed guys. I think it's, I don't know how many days it's been, but my hair hasn't been washed in a very long time. And I haven't been getting any flaking, any, you know funny funny business nothing like that my hair has been good honey like my i went to an event with my hair without it being washed and it doesn't smell <laughs> okay and for now it's gonna have to keep up because i literally don't have time to wash my hair but anyways with that being said you can see the difference between the two sides you know the bun do not out and the um, sprayed side I don't think I did insert a clip of my hair after this whole situation, but when it dried, it looked really, really good. I mean, the coils and the kinks were still there. I kind of really, like, doubted the point of bantu knots because me doing bantu knots was for the kinks and the coils. But yeah, whatever, I'm just brushing it out with a white tooth comb and that's the end of my experiment. <laughs> 